And this time, this is a question I have for Kai. Specifically. <laughs> what? What? In the what? face. <laughs> Why? I'm Wait, scared. It, all right, don't be scared. Okay. Because listen, you know me. And you know when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to our differences, we always talk it out. We have a better understanding yeah, yeah. of each other, okay? Yeah, so of no course. pressure. So I figured this would be a good a good time to talk about this man because there's nothing else going on. Right? Okay. So I remember you saying that you did not fuck with future trunks. Oh and, man. <laughs> and as somebody who for a very long period of time, that was my favorite number one character until Broly officially became a canonical character in the main story. Trunks had that spot, all right? But now, obviously, like I said, Broly took that over and now Trunks is at the very high number two seat for me. So when you said that you didn't fuck with future Trunks at all, growing up, like, like back then, like not now, like then, I was like, what? So, I want to know why. I, I didn't think he was, um, he felt very out of place. I'll put it like that. Like, uh, I, I, I obviously like the concept of, you know, like a future saying, like coming back to try to, you know, like the whole time travel thing, change, change the past, make everything better, save Goku, save everybody. You know, that, that's a cool concept. But as far as like the character Trunks was concerned, he was uh, like for me, my thoughts back then was that he was too far out there. Like he didn't he didn't match any of the rest of the Saiyans that seemed to be like they all had like a similar design. They all like fought a similar way. This nigga had a sword. I was like, these people can literally break swords on their foreheads. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It was I mean, it, it was Goku did that too. <laughs> that, yeah, like that's like that's what I was saying. The one, so like the one thing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So shit like that. I was just kind of like, yeah, first, first things first, man's got to lose the sword because he already like oh. he didn't he did. He cut all like he cut Frieza up like man's literally chopped him up. But at the same time, it was still a blast that finished him. Oh, see Brandon, so, <laughs> yeah, so put oh, it we're, right under we're there. fans. Yeah. That shit, that shit <laughs> was clean, on, though. I'm not going to lie. The way that shit was animated, that shit definitely looked clean. But I don't know. I didn't. I didn't I didn't like trunks. I didn't like his sword. I didn't like his hair. I didn't like his clothes. <laughs> See, I fucked with his sword, not gonna lie. Yeah. That, it, I thought, he was I thought different. the way he, he used different. it was cool for sure. I thought that like like when he used it, he fucking got it. The way he just sheathed it by just little dropped it in, that shit was clean. Mm -hmm. But um no, I just I I felt like, you know, weapons in Dragon Ball is just it just hasn't been it so far. And you know, look Take a look. However many decades later, we got gas conjuring shit. That's still not it. So, I can under... Okay, so... All right. So, that makes a little he, bit more he sense. He looked cool as fuck when he was using it. Don't get me wrong. Like, he yeah. definitely had the sword play. Pause. <laughs> 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 so, hold that on. So, it. so when... All right. So, and again, just as uh, to preface, this is your thoughts as you were watching him debut as like a child first time yeah. as a kid okay so yeah, like yeah. Did, so did he grow on you at some point slightly and it was only when he tried to go broly mm. oh so the ikari form this is this yeah is, are you when talking about when arc. he he grew his hair like in the hyperbolic time period and shit Oh, you talking that about would, that? Oh, you talk, oh, yeah, because yeah, we're, yeah. we're talking old times. We're talking yeah, old Z. Time. That okay. was, yeah, that was when I liked his his long hair. When, yeah. After that, like once he came out the type of like time chamber, he was a changed man. Exactly, yeah. and I was I was there for it because that he he donned the suit, he got the new look, and he yeah. had a new attitude and shit. So I was like, okay, he didn't, I might he be didn't able to fuck with this trunks. Time. Exactly, he he got rid of it. So I was like, okay, he's moving up. He's moving like for me, like that's what I wanted to see. So I was starting to be there for chunks. All right. See, I'm all right with that. See, that's a those are sound reasons, and I could, I could, I can, I can, I can do you one better. Okay. That's comparable to this, right? So, and this is weird, a weird comparison, but hear me out. So, a lot of times, like you guys already know, I don't really fuck with a lot of like what if scenarios when it comes down to like outer uh, series comparisons. And what I mean by that okay. is like when you have like you say. Goku versus Naruto, for example, right? I don't like those conversations because 
they're structurally built different right like there's so many things that go on in this universe that doesn't happen in this universe and vice versa so to put them against each other is just kind of pointless to me and so when i would see people say like naruto versus bleach where it was like naruto versus ichigo more specifically to me i was like why would you do that because that bleach is a show where everyone's using weapons everyone right and yeah, Naruto, they, they have weapons, but I feel like Naruto is probably more uh, like known for the ninjutsu and the, you know, all the different types of jutsu that they do and everything about it. Like, yes, they got the kunai and the shurikens and, you know, they, they, they some characters got swords. It's a lot of it, it's a lot that's going on in Naruto. I guess a better comparison would be like <clears throat> Dragon Ball Z versus Bleach, where it was like Goku versus Ichigo. I'm like, again, why would you do that? Because, like, yeah, even though Goku had a power pole, he had it in Dragon Ball. He don't use that no more. That, that That's not a part of his shindig anymore, right? That's not really a thing in Dragon Ball as much, period. It's like 90% of Dragon Ball overall, from, from, from no Z all the way to where Super is at right now, and even GT, if you want to throw that in there, 90% of it, the characters are using fist, fists and feet. You know what I'm saying? Their heads, you know, they're using they're using beams and shit. And so that's why I was like, this is weird. Like I, I that's why I don't like doing those types of comparison conversations. So going back to trunks now for you, I'm I'm imagining you and you're seeing like a show where everyone's throwing hands and throwing freaking beams and key blasts and all this shit and fucking ah! <laughs> Like, we're doing all sorts of shit, and then next thing you know, this dude coming in, he looks completely different, and he's using a sword, right? Pull up with a crop top and a sword, I'm like, womp womp. Yeah, for you, yeah, I can understand if that threw you off, and then thus, like, you didn't really, like, fuck with the character as much, per se, as, like, we did, and that, and that I can respect, because, like, you, like, thematically, in your mind, you was, like, this is what I'm expecting to see. Like, I'm expecting to see fighting warriors. Even though Trunks obviously fought. He yeah. beat it Frieza and King Cold, right? But despite that, he didn't He didn't fit the script, right? And I get that. But, love. Uh, for and me... That's, <laughs> yeah, that's another reason why for me, why I said, um, why I said for me, like, I thought that the best... My favorite version of Trunks was Kid Trunks because I started yep, off I not fucking with him and I eventually like saw him come out the chamber, a changed man, and I was like, all right, I can fuck with this. And then they kind of just did a whole time skip and then I saw him as a kid and I'm like, okay, this kid's stronger than the one we saw before. I like I like the way he looks. Like he had a nice fit. I like the like his version of Super Saiyan hair. Like I feel like they tried to keep that uh that like rage one. Cause he had it all spiky and everything. I was like, okay, I can rock with that. And then him and Goten, mm -hmm. like, forget it. Once, once they became Go Tanks, it was a rap. Rap. It was, it was a total fucking rap. I really kind of hope they don't fuck them up. Like, I really do too. Like, cause... because I hope they grow into something. Like, more than like, I hope they become developed into the story more. Because we barely see them, little fucking niggas. Oh nah, yeah, yeah, that's true. I hope the same yeah. thing. Um. But yeah, like that that's a, that's a that's a great comparison even just comparing the two trunkses because Future Trunks obviously his come up was completely different. Right. And he did not learn Super Saiyan until Gohan died. And, and even though when he was starting to learn it, he still couldn't like grasp onto it fast enough to be like of some sort of help to even maybe prevent Gohan from dying. That'd be a that would be a really cool what if scenario. If if Trunks did not, like if 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 Gohan did not die, and they were able to kind of like defend themselves and protect each other, so that way, it would have been like Trunks and Gohan going back to helping the other ones. That would have been interesting, but that's a whole that's a whole another thing. But then like, and then seeing how this cur the the current Trunks kid Trunks, he comes up. And you know what's funny? That Trunks went Super Saiyan before Future Trunks did. Which no sword wild no sword right no sword i mean the sword the sword didn't really even come into play for future trunks like like after the fact even yeah so you know 
I feel like his sword was an accessory, obviously, but he really, I mean, he used it. But when you think about Trunks and his story, he literally was, he, he, he was, uh, like, you always see him without it. And then it was right until he left. That's when he had it. So I was like, oh, okay. Like. He's just about to pull up like a gangster. Like that's why. That's why I like the Wrath of the Dragon movie so much. That's one of the reasons I like that movie so much. That's is a because great movie. It gave some fucking like story for that shit, and I was just kind of like, damn. Like I like I liked it. It showed everything. It still had kid chunks in it too. So it's like it showed the girl process, even though you know different timelines, so it doesn't quite fit. But it is what it is, right? At the yeah. time, it seemed like a like a really good way to answer that question. Right. Beyond. Yeah, <laughs> yo, shout out, shout yeah. out to Sapion. I yo, and, and that's funny because I remember us talking about this for, forever ago, right? And yeah. I and and it was almost like heartbreaking for you because I was just like, dude, movies are not fucking canon. And so they did that. I'm like, that should they didn't have to do that, like, because and then like, what well, see what didn't make so what as a kid watching that, what doesn't help our brains at the time? We're trying to fucking absorb all this information, is that. We think everything's all right back then. Right. So then when we see a scene like that, a kid trunks, and we already know a future trunks exists, and we see Tapion give the sword to kid mm. trunks, but then the end credits roll and they show the scenes of future trunks killing freaking Mecha Frieza, bro, I was like, in confusion. What exactly? I was like, what is happening? But yeah, you know adulting growing up and then i'm just like damn that's that they didn't have to do any of that they, they just fuck they probably did that to fuck with people realistically they probably didn't even know what they was fucking playing nah, the credits I, yeah they just didn't know <laughs> knowing dragon ball bro, like, uh yeah, i guess yeah that's a good way to also put it too um but yeah i mean chunks for me has always been like the like one of the coolest characters ever like he and like for all the reasons that you pointed out, it was like the opposite for me. He stuck out. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god, this guy is so fucking cool. He is like the illest character. The fact that he came from the future, the fact that he was already a Super Saiyan, the like his background story, tough as hell. And then because of his influence and involvement, he helped out their whole shit like actually last so that they could have a future a different future that than what he had and i think that shit is fire and the fact that he comes they they bring him back in super was also od in your in your arc nonetheless right so gotta give credit to my man trunks because he you know he would he, give credit to the big sinner yeah oh yeah yeah committing those fucking those time crimes <laughs> <laughs> time crimes the time, the time crimes <laughs> yeah so i mean brand what do you have anything else to add when it comes to uh the the trunks this 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 trunks uh love and isn't wait wait i, I want to i want to wrap up that real quick because i just i just realized something funny because like the reaction i had a kid i had as a kid when i saw trunks is just kind of like what is this man doing here like somebody get this man out of here <laughs> okay. Oh man. Yeah. Nah, but, but, go ahead, bro. Uh, I mean, I nah, I don't really have anything negative to say about his character. Like the way he came in, you know, uh, off the, the fucking uh, capsule corporation's fucking what what, what we call it the time machine. Yeah. <laughs> the, the time machine. Yeah. Um. I felt like he was a good part of the story, especially in the grow up part of Z. Um, and then he transitioned as a character. He had a little little development there, right. as we kind of spoke about after the time chamber and everything like that. Um, yeah. But you know, I, I I fucked with Trunks like from beginning to end, to be honest. So like, I ain't really got much bad to say about him. Word. I mean, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. Like he he's chilling. <laughs> he's chilling as a character. Yeah. Yeah, man, can I mean, yeah. So that's why I was just like, hearing hearing him say like he did not fuck with Trunks. I was like, oh my god, mm -mm. fucking heartbroken. 
Um, okay, that's, that's the Goku Black in me. I just couldn't fuck with Trunks, man. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, it is what it is. Listen, at least see, and that's the, that's the thing, guys. Okay, constructive criticism. Okay, we literally <laughs> we we like to be critical, analyze all the different things. And listen, I respect Kai's opinion because he had reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nah, I mean, the sword the sword debate in itself is acceptable. Like, you know, it yeah, is what and it, it is. And it, was more, and it was more aesthetically than anything else. Like, did Kai shit on his ability? No. They, 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 they didn't even power skip. That, that part doesn't matter. It was, why he didn't fuck with him? Oh, because he didn't fit. He, was, he stuck out like a sore thumb. Man had long hair. Man had a sword. What the fuck are you using a sword for? It's not bleached. Fuck we doing right you know what yeah, i'm saying like yeah. i was thinking i was just you know like no one needs to use a sword why does he need to yeah. use a sword like yeah no and and but here's the thing right like and notice how he started to fuck with him more once he started blending in better because yeah he did not stick with that outfit the whole time soon as the andrew saga started kicking off and they started training man's had the saiyan armor man's mm -hmm. lost the sword his hair grew longer uh and and yo i yo went yo why do you think I have long hair? That's one of the reasons. That's one of the fucking reasons, okay? Him and Jeff Hardy, my Hardy boys. All right, they, like, I always, when I was a kid, I used to think long hair was the shit. That's why I got long hair now. Boom, Trunks was one of those fucking reasons. You can't deny that shit. I'm like, oh, man, coming in with the freaking purple. Now it's blue, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Oh, that's that good shit.